Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest on Women Leaders in Pet Chem series at Insights with Niti Varma is Janali Mehta from Raffenhauser, India. Janali is a BE in Materials and Metallurgy Engineering from University of Birmingham, England, and a Master's in International Business from University of Sheffield, England. Janali, a very warm welcome to my show. Thank you, Nidhi. I think it's great to uh, have this brief interaction with you. I think it's been a long time. Uh, Janali, you got married in 2012 and Amara and Alina were born, the two Lakshmis in the house. What is a typical day in Janali's life look like? Um, well, it's absolutely routine, but which would be for every, uh, I think, working mom. Uh, my day starts at 6.45 or 7 a.m. in the morning, followed by the waking up the children, getting a little bit of me time, getting them ready for school, we have school for the first couple of hours. So I'm caught up till 12, 12.30 in the afternoon. And in between, whenever I steal some time and I get to catch up on my emails, make some phone calls, but largely dedicated to the children. And uh, then I leave for work. And I go to my third baby, which is uh, Raifanhaza, India, which was actually my first, but yeah. And uh, I'm there until uh, early evening, say 5.36. And I'm home by 6.30 and then I have to catch up on the school for the next day. So for both the children. So my day will end, say, largely around 10, 10.30. So it's a 7 to 10.30. You know, Jinali, one of my favorite movies, One Fine Day with the, I'm not sure you watched it. It's George Clooney and yes. Michelle Pfeiffer, where yes. it is a day shown in a working uh, woman's life. I can totally see the reflection. And that was only one baby. You have two. <laughs> Very, very, my hands are full, and but so is my heart. Yeah, so oh, beautiful way to say it. And I think I also resound what you said, which I keep saying that, uh, you know, uh, my work, which is Elite Plus, is my baby. So I don't have other babies to take care of. So my entire thing starts in the morning with my baby with the Elite Plus and ends with it. So yes. I do resound there. Uh, Jinali, how do you balance the children and the work? You've shared your day's routine, but in your mind and in your head space, how do you do that? I think I largely as women, uh, we are used to a lot of multitasking, uh, Nadi. So uh, my mind, I have space for everything, like I said, and as I said, my hand, my heart and hands both are full. And uh, I think it's all about prioritization uh, and compartmentalizing things in your head. So you know what is important when, what you can delegate and what you can't, what you can compromise a little bit on or what you can let go of and what you can't. So when you are clear as a woman running the show, largely, I would say operations in Raifanaz, India and uh, running the show at home and of course the children, I think it's all about balancing the act with uh, keeping prioritization as the key to the successful uh, functioning of on all platforms. Perfect. Uh, now comes the role of the important man Bharat. How does he fare yeah. as a husband uh, or, you know, as a, of a working woman and that too in a leadership position? I think uh, when we married, it was largely clear that my first baby is right from Asia, India, and it always was. And uh, uh, I think over a period of time, Bharat is more of a, um, he's not much of a talker. I think everybody knows that. He is uh, a little bit, he's the, I think the calm to my storm, I would say. And uh, it is basically, uh, the, the relationship is all about, I think, complementing each other. And Bharat, I would say, is more of a backbone, uh, not my support system, but more of the backbone that stands behind me, uh, very largely. And also, it's like a guiding force, you know, which pushes me further, which gives me wings to fly. So that's how I would uh, position his role in my life. Janali, it's a little cliched question, but, uh, you know, I wanted to ask this, that did ever a thought come to your mind that you also would like to have a son in the family to, you know, carry forward the le legacy as we've seen in our uh, earlier days in families, uh, this, this aspect? Um, honestly, Nadi, uh, yeah, it's a very, uh, a very standard question that you're asking me, which doesn't surprise me. But honestly, I don't mean to sound cliche on the risk of sounding, no. Because from as far as my family was concerned, or my father, my mother, or my extended family, I'm very blessed with very loving grand, uh, grandmothers, uh, my uncle, my aunts. And uh, it was never, uh, it never even featured, you know, 
in the thought process that I wish you were a boy or I wish you were, you know, any kind of gender discrimination. But yes, there were times when I felt a teeny bit that I wish I was a boy. But again, I held that back because then I realized that I have to find, I mean, that strength of a woman lies within and not in the people around her. Uh, Janali, do you feel a challenge as mostly, you know, the people that you're negotiating with, with customers on the other side of the table are men and the bonding opportunities between the customer uh, and the understanding that develops is mostly in the off hours, maybe over a drink or in the gym or in the golf course, which is not available to women, at least in our country, as our culture is not like that. Have you felt that challenge? Uh, definitely, Nadi. Uh, I'm not going to uh, sugarcoat this. Uh, well, my let's begin with my role in Rifenoza India is everything to do with operations, all aspects of the company besides direct sales. Uh, I am I am not in the I am not in the place in the company where I negotiate with the customer very honestly. But yes, I am involved in everything besides the direct sales including the strategic approach of the company towards the market, toward, with our principles, the marketing, the legal finance, strategic with uh, strategy of service, because, you know, Raiffenauser India is now growing global uh, from its uh, services point of view as well. We have started our uh, business development. So we, we started a lot of new, uh, we have a lot of new wings, I would say, in the company. So I am involved with all of those, again, besides the direct sales of capital goods. So... However, I, gen I do believe that that is largely because of certain drawbacks and the acceptance of women, or uh, Indian women, I would say, from the machinery sales point of view. I agree with you there. Uh, Jinali, what is the perception about women in an industry which needs to change, which is a myth that you wish you could break? Women can be technical. I mean, it's, it's an absolute, it's not that she's there because she has to be there or because she's just there to, you know, to kind of fine tune things, but she means business and she is, uh, she can take a decision and uh, she's in the driver's position. Well said and I, and well accepted, Janali. Um, what is the trait in your personality that you would like to improve on? Uh, maybe read a little bit more uh, and listen more and talk a little less. Applies to me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar, and, huh? similar, yeah. And what you have missed in your life, which uh, you would want Amara and Alina to have in their life going forward? Honestly, on top of my head, I can't really think of anything. But uh, because I believe I got the best that I could have in uh, those times. And I only have to extend that and take it further as far as uh, my uh, children are concerned. And I think they have a little bit less of me. That is the, uh, if at all, it's possible. But And they have more of their grandmother. But uh, I think uh, they, it's a new generation. And uh, I think they are learning that we need to study so we can go to office like mama. And that is kind of, no longer is it crying that mama is going, we don't want to go. No, bye mama, have a nice day. We'll see you in the evening. That's how my day begins when I leave for work. And I think... What a positive note to... Uh, to absolutely, have. absolutely. I, I'm not sure you watched Kushbu's interview, Kushbu Doshi's, and she said that she was going, first time she was leaving her son, and she was going for an overseas uh, one-week travel, and yeah. she was crying, and he was saying, fine, I'll be fine, you just go. <laughs> we are lucky women, that's all I can say. And the next gen is like absolutely a different... I mean, level. I was at the K-show, and my daughter was six months. Oh, yeah? I couldn't wean her off, give her her first water, and nadal water, rice water that we give. I couldn't. But that's fine. I mean, I did my bit and you have to run, as I said, prioritize. And balancing, right? And balancing. And what is the one thing in the Mehta legacy that you would want your children and their, their children to go forward? What is the one thing which is very close to your heart? Live up to your word. Yeah. Commitment Absolutely. and uh, living up to your word. And in a, way, in a lot of ways, it is truth and honesty combined with living up to your word. So uh, it's something that if it comes out of your mouth, stick to it. Um, Jinali, you've already shared what role you have in the organization now. What is it the next step that you're going to evolve it to? Uh, well, as far as the uh, as far as I am concerned, uh, it will. I will. I don't intend to get into sales in the front from the front, 
but uh, in the last one year uh, we have seen uh, we have taken a couple of new things under our wing including a very interesting product called she plus which is a barrier paper uh, on the sustainability issues that the, the globally we are facing uh, from japan uh, also we are working with novamont uh, which is biodegradable and biocompostable raw material for garbage bags and also eventually it will go into uh, packaging thermal forming all of these applications so uh, besides that and uh, business development and of course my legal and finance uh, caps i enjoy multiple caps in the company uh, i am getting into uh, even a little bit of sales activities with uh, these two products but again not from the front because i have a lot of other uh, things to uh, manage at the back end as well but uh, whatever little i can contribute with the teams uh, from the strategic sales point of view from uh, these two, because these are the products which is not a day in and day out products it requires a strategic approach a product uh, positioning and also a lot of trial trial and errors so it's a process so this is not a cash cow so that is why so my focus is uh, these products which is not a day in and day out kind of uh, uh, you know sales which is what the and we are blessed with a team of wonderful professionals i have to say loyal and uh, hard working and we are very very proud of them nadi and uh, i think if i'm able to work with the team successfully uh, we, as we rather as a family we are able to you know uh, be there for them with uh, you know as a support i think we are in a good place good to say uh, jinali you have approximately 32 partnership across, across the world majorly from asia and european countries yes. how the asian and european countries differ from india as far as women's working opportunities and cultures are concerned in business um it's an interesting question nidhi in fact i had retrospected it myself a couple of times um let me be very uh, let me uh, break it up uh, when we look at india far east and europe okay largely into three categories because that's who we've been working with as a uh, rice and oil india uh i would say uh, let's talk about far east you will see a lot of uh, far east women in the front sales whether it is raw material or whether it is capital goods they are they are aggressive they are right there they travel they have no uh, they have no uh, constraints in terms of where to go what hours i think it's a tremendous amount of uh, uh, dedication and commitment level that these women have and i would my as a woman to woman i must say it's wonderful having said that uh, going to europe i have had the opportunity to work with a couple of women uh from the uh, middle uh, from the uh, from the european uh, culture and i think uh it the, the 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 ratio of far east to europe would be 1 is to 3 or say 1 is to 4 which means uh europeans uh, european women i see may, way lesser in capital goods but i cannot say the same for raw material so they would be more in r and d yeah. and our raw material sales which is faster moving and which is a repeat sales you know once it is set at least for a while you are you are good to go unless there are technical glitches and similar in india i would say uh, i see a lot of women like i mentioned before the couple of names they are uh, uh, into of course running a lot of shows i have to say uh, uh, like you have interviewed you including you yourself um, but uh, as far as capital goods are concerned in the front very few but raw material again largely so uh, this kind of this kind of distinction is absolutely apparent at this point mm. i i and i hope that i but i think it's a matter of time that things will evolve and again nidhi i think it's got a lot to do with the society that we are dealing with rather than the women themselves so Agreed. i think it's a matter of time everybody will accept you know it's symbiotic how do you see the packaging industry in the coming one year in terms of business and especially sustainability here to stay i mean i think the one industry that grew in the pandemic was packaging i mean we are an essential you know so it uh, well sustainability remains as a as a challenge and something that we will overcome together as an industry uh in terms of uh, the growth i don't see any going back in fact i see more and more investments from what we have uh, been experiencing and uh, more so i think leaner management uh lesser inventories uh just in just out digitalization or uh, lesser dependency on on physical workforce and more of automation 
I think will pave the path ahead for, and of course, hygiene goes without saying. This will pave the way further for the packaging industry. I, I think, think no more technical, but this is not the place. The pandemic, I think, it has preponed a lot of decisions which may Absolutely. have been in our, uh, you know, line of uh, planning, but it has kind of made them. I mean, you see, pharma right. and hygiene. I mean, it's going to be a uh, a huge, uh, huge industry, and it's only here to grow. I mean, all of, all of, all kind of packaging. To be very honest. We are happy to be in this industry at this point of time. That's good. Absolutely, absolutely. We're in the right place at the right time. Yes, and finally, Zinali, what are we expecting from your stable to be rolled out uh, in the market shortly? I I will not let the dad out of the bag, but uh, I'm yes, trying I hard. Can... I'm trying hard. <laughs> No, I can't blame you for trying. So I will give you a little bit uh, jokes apart, a little bit of an insight. I think focus of Ripenaz India in one line will be to do more, better, and different. And when I get a, a little bit more specific uh, for you, only for you, will be um, alternate energy, focus on alternate energy, uh, various as aspects of uh, packaging innovation. Packaging 4.0, of course, everybody knows, but I'm looking at different aspects of packaging innovation, which uh, we can talk, you know, maybe I have a different uh, chat about it. And uh, of course, medical and hygiene will be a big focus for us. And uh, nevertheless, nevertheless, of course, post-consumer recycling. So these will be the key four to five uh, uh, aspects that Welton as India as a, as a company will be uh will find its uh you know will find its next uh, three to five years i think uh, okay. most of the people have chosen 13 14th uh, september as the date for the ninth uh, speciality flexible packaging summit so hope to see the details about uh, what all you would have probably launched in the market then uh in mumbai hopefully yes we will have some nice uh nice uh, packages to uh, show the the industry and i think it's all about uh, pulling each other up maybe as an industry it's all about backing each other up and yes there's healthy competition there's healthy debate but i think it's all about synergies and you know working together and we at rifenosa i mean including the rifenosa family and us in india we carry forward we are very proud to be associated with them enjoy their trust and confidence and uh, carry forward their uh, their faith and their belief in this industry and also the values more importantly the morals and the values that we have developed globally and carry them forward in uh, in india and we enjoy their uh, their partnership in middle east and africa as well and we hope to continue to give them the reasons to be working together for the next many years all the more we are going to be seeing you soon janali thank you so much yes, for this yes. Petity and uh, all power to women in our industry. Absolutely, Nadi. But having said that, I must say, Women's Day should be celebrated. But I think it's a 365 uh, day uh, Women's Day because I think we are consistent and uh, we are uh, we multitask. Like I mentioned, we are consistent and we are there every day, pulling up our socks and uh, standing uh, strong. So I think. Uh, a lot of power to uh, the women who not only are visible but also are invisible and the things absolutely correct well said so all days are women day and with that i'm going to let you go see you soon janali thank, thank you so much thank you nidhi was wonderful bye bye bye, -bye.